Hello guys, Black Sun here again with another Arch Linux video. Uh, I previously uh, decided to wipe my Arch Linux install and um, the one that I based off Midfinger's original open box Arch distro. And I discovered another open box Arch Linux distro, which is called OV Revenge, and this is what it's based on. Um, huge shout out for Joe Collins for. Um, putting the spotlight on, on OB Revenge and showing, showing it to us Linux users in the first place. So, as you can see, I am running Arch Linux and it's running Openbox and I've done a little bit of customization because this is a pretty new install, it's two days old, so I, am, I haven't done that much to customize it. So, OB Revenge comes uh, with an Openbox edition and an i3 edition which I will and the, I will showcase the i3 edition in, in another video. And in the in the open box edition and I assume in the i3 edition what is extremely um, cool about this distro is that it comes with a Calamaris installer. And if you're familiar with Manjaro or Chakra Linux or Swagarch or other so to say, major head distributions that are non-Ubuntu based. Um, plenty of those use the Calamaris installer, which is one of the best, if not the best, uh, Linux distro installer around. So this comes with the Calamaris installer and um, plenty other uh, little things. For example, here we have the, XF, um, the whisker menu for XFCE. We have PCMNFN. But we also have the GNOME uh, file manager. Oh, hold on. Where is it? Oh yeah, files. Here it is. This is the GNOME file manager. And um, it comes with um, some pretty neat utilities. For example, get wallpapers will automatically download the table papers from uh, a website that's called Interface Lift and automatically install them for you in the in your pictures and or wallpaper folder. And also what this distro has is the OB Revenge software installation tool which uh, which allows you to install a, um, a stash of applications with a simple click. Just click those, click OK, and it will be it. It will be installed. Uh, you have the media section, which contains G uh, GIMP, uh, VLC, Audacious, Clementine, GTOM, Shotwell, Brasero, Audacity, Simple Screen Recorder, X XFS, Burn, Caden Live, OBS Studio. So all the also the Office section has LibreOffice Fresh, AB Word. G numeric, PDF modern and Vince. So all the basic software that one would need for either documentation creation, web browsing or uh, video video watching or movie watching or audio production or or um, you know use. Also what this distro has that is very cool is hold on let me find it. Oh yes, this is the OB Revenge um, Mirrorless tool, which will sort the 100 fastest Arch Linux mirrors and write them automatically to your mirrorless file. So this is pretty neat, and I highly recommend this. I highly recommend that you do this after install. And I've done a, lit a little bit of customization, as I said. This comes with um, eLinks as the default browser, but as I showed you just a minute ago, it's very easy to just go in and download either Firefox or Chromium. I prefer Firefox over, over Chromium, personally, but if you like Chromium more, uh, it's up to you. Also, this, this comes with Pamek for your GUI package managing needs. 
Also, what is neat about this distro is that, that Yaoart is already compiled out of the box and enabled. So, out of the box, after install, you can use the Arch user repositories. You don't need to compile Yaoart, you, you don't need to go into the pacman.configuration file that to enable the, Arch, the AOR repository. It's already done out of the box. And it's let's check the the RAM usage and it's bloody fast. It's using less than one gigabyte of RAM, but and it, it would be even less if I wasn't recording. But I am recording, so it's it's using a, a little bit more of resources. Um, I'm using the I'm running the latest kernel, even though the 4.8.1 should come out in a few days or in a few weeks. I really don't know the Arch Linux kernel release cycle, but I saw that the new kernel was in the testing repository, so it should go out pretty soon. And also, this is a bit of a minor point, but for me it's pretty major. I suffer from extremely low internet connections, so for me, uh, downloading Arch from my Arch or any rolling release distro from my home connection we are talking about less than one megabyte per second of speed. It's extremely slow. Suddenly there is nothing I can do about it. So having an offline uh, installation of Arch already pre-configured by the box, out of the box, it's an extremely good thing for people like me who suffer from a very bad connection and want to have Arch on their laptop for do their daily work or studying like in my case. And yes, I cannot recommend this enough. And I will leave the links in the description with all the OB Revenge related info and also again my custom customization and aliases that I already linked in the other video if you want. As always, a big shout out to my, uh, so to say, masters of Linux personally, which are English Bob, Joe Collins, Matthew Moore. And Chris Ware, and as always, a big, big thought to the late midfinger. Rest in peace, man. You taught me a lot about Arch Linux, and you are sorely missed. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I will showcase, as I said, the i3 edition of OB Revenge pretty soon. I don't know. I don't have an exact timetable because I am a full-time student, so I don't have that much time to record videos, but I hope to see you soon and I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.